Christy, can you either turn it towards you? Or... Hey, guys. Can you see us? Is it working? Did we do it? I think we've done it. Someone know. from Lebanon. I'm getting it. Okay, hey, we're on. Can you see us? Hi. Hey, thanks, Mark Davis. Appreciate the super chat right off the bat. And Steve Thompson, you gave us a super chat. Really appreciate that. That's our uh, cheeseburgers for tomorrow. Yeah, we got cheeseburgers right there. We have never done a live stream before. First time. Yeah, and we thought it would be good to do it while Katrina was here. I'll be here for like another week, so. Yeah, your flight was delayed, right? So uh, going to have some extra time with us. I'm sure you're excited about that. Oh, somebody save me. <laughs> Lots of people saying hello. Yeah. Christy's behind the camera. As she's, usual. She's monitoring the comments. Double cheese from Dwayne Loftus. Oh, they're reminding you about how you unofficially did one. Oh, the test earlier. Ago. I enjoyed that 10% extra test we got earlier. I didn't even need to use COPA, coupon code <laughs> TTWT. <laughs> yeah, I uh, was not supposed to be hitting the public button on that point. But... And here you are supposedly so tech savvy. Yeah. Hi, Steve. He said hi to me, so. <laughs> hi, Georgia. Steve Bradley. Christy's going to steal the show and she's not even in front of the camera. Maybe we should get her over here. Would that be more exciting? <laughs> so is this the number of people online right now? Yes. 332, 338. 38. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. Hey, Rich, thank for the $5 super chat. Really appreciate that. That's great. Hey, we've got a few things to talk about tonight. Uh, we'll eventually talk about some demo attachments that we've been using on this channel that are for sale. Not used to seeing Tim without a hat. Maybe I should get a hat. That's probably scaring people. <laughs> hey, they said Katrill's a cool name. Thank you. I did not pick it out. <laughs> if you had picked it out, that would have been. That would have been wild. Yeah. When I was little, I kind of wanted to like change my name. I thought it was too hard to spell or too weird or something. But now, excellent. Hey, Thomas, we have we have 140. We have 140k. I think 143k we turned today. A Ritter bit will do. Hey, thanks, John. Really appreciate it. John's been a long-term fan. You need to go check out A Ritter bit will do. He's got the wrong color tractor, but other than that, uh, an incredible guy. Hey, what'd you get? This is the Legacy green and yellow logo that you can't get anymore. I don't know why. As of today... I discontinued the green and yellow embroidered logo or any of the green and yellow. So how old is the truck? The truck is a 2018 model. It was uh, the last week of 2018 was when it was made. So it was really the uh, essentially a 2019 model. They didn't change anything between 2018 and 2019. We've got, I think, 22 or 23,000 miles on it. So we use it for 100% business. We never go out into it for any – we just don't use it for personal stuff, for tax purposes, really. Somebody, hey, oh, somebody wants to know if you're going to the National Farm Machinery Show. We plan to go to the National Farm Machinery Show. Hang on here. We've got a super chat. Will you guys ever do a review on the 3E series? Uh, we did a little bit on the 3E. We had a 3032E here with um, – um, who was – Oh, we had a Curtis, Curtis cab, cab on, on it. Yeah. yeah, and we did some weight capacity tests with it. Really, the summary on that is we think the thirty, the three E series is slightly less capable than the two R series. So we think there's a little bit of a misnaming going on there. Hey, Rock Hill Farm and Homes, thanks for the thanks for the uh, super chat. And there's a Ritter bit will do. Maybe if I just talk kind about uh, a Ritter bit will do, he'll just keep sending. Uh, five dollar super I no we appreciate it john but but that's okay you don't need to send another super chat um what was it? a farm machinery show the national farm machinery show it was delayed this year it's going to be end of march 
into April, if it happens at all. Uh, we've sent in our application just like normal to be part of the media, but we don't have any idea exactly what's going to be going on there. So we plan to be there every day, but if you want to go to the National Farm Machinery Show in Louisville, you actually have to sign up this year, and they're limiting it, limiting it to 20,000 people per day, which would probably be like one-fourth or less of what's typically there. So, Hey, William Mitchell says when he gets moved, he invites us to the eastern shore to catch some big rockfish and blue crabs and look at tractors. I don't know. Count that me in good. on that. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to come over that. Yeah, that, that, sounds, that Tasty. sounds good. Yeah. So do you guys think you like it with the hat on or do you like it with just my bald head? I think you better put the hat on. Okay. Yeah. Old School Repair Shot wants to know, are you guys still hunting for oddball attachments? Unique attachments, I think. Yes, unique guys. usages, yes. unique tractor usages we are. Hey, thanks, Purple Collar Life. I really appreciate it. I, I, I hope we have been an inspiration for you. You guys have started a good channel there and uh, got some got some things going. We, we really appreciate it. Yes, we'd like to, to, to have some more unique tractor usages. I think we have a website for that for you to submit your application. Do you remember what it is, Christy? I can't remember right now. Um, um, I'll have to look it up. <laughs> yeah. I, I can't remember the, the name of the... Uh, we'll get to you in a little bit on the, the name of the website. Uh, it's tractortimewithtim.com slash visit, visit me. Visit me, yes. Tractortimewithtim.com slash visit me if you've got a unique tractor usage and, and submit it. Um, we've got several of them, but several applications or whatever, just some of them can't be done until spring, and, and it, some of them are a long way off. It's going to be hard. Hey, the Kelly's Country Life. $20 super chat. That's great. Love your channel and what you do. John Deere for life. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph Wheelock. How's it going? I appreciate the super chat there. Uh, hat on and blue crab for me. <laughs> <Says Dwayne. laughs> so you have on your rim guard shirt. Somebody is asking, Michael says, what is rim guard? Is it actually beets? It is beets. Yes. Uh, beet juice. And it truly is beets. Um, it'd be fun if we could actually see them making the stuff. Uh, maybe we maybe we can, but it's really heavy. Just to tell you kind of the marketing pitch, it's 11 pounds per gallon. That's really heavy. Um, and for our little tires on these little tractors, if you're going to get much fluid in them, having something very heavy like that's very good. It's also biodegradable. It won't hurt anything. Even if your cat eats it, it won't hurt it. And then, uh, so rimguardsolutions.com slash TDWT to find your local dealer. Hey, I love Tractor Hoarders. Love that name. He says, nice to see the flip-flop farmer again. Uh, <laughs> I've got bad news. I'm not wearing flip-flops. Yes, you should be. Hey, Bradley Butler, $20. You are amazing. I think he must be talking about you. Yeah. I haven't even said anything yet. I've just been sitting here while you talk about Yeah, see, you're that, that's how amazing you are. Yeah. Thank you. Um, let's see. The I claim do Australia. Sorry. Australia? Yeah. Wow. You can't beat it. I like that. You have to say to someone in Australia, you say, good day, mate. Our wall is a darker green. Well, we're still getting closer to Oliver. <laughs> Meadow Green Farm. So, yeah, Meadow Green is the is the color of Oliver. So, thanks, Meadow Green Farm. We'd love to have an Oliver around here. We were just a day away from buying a 1655 last year, and I talked myself out of it. I think I talked him out of it. Sorry. I think I had finance committee approval, but I'm not sure. And, and I don't know, I got cold feet. And so we didn't get one. How's my health doing? Uh, pretty good. I'm probably a little bit too lazy this time of year because it's cold and, uh, I don't know, but, uh, I feel much better. The heart stent worked, worked very well. And we, I couldn't believe how quickly I recovered. It, it was great. Somebody said, who's your favorite child, Catrille or Johnny? Do I have to answer in front of Catrille? Uh, wait till next week. <laughs> She's gone. Hey, I don't like that. Hey, Catrille, you got a trivia question for us? I do. I do. I've prepared, I've prepared a few trivia questions from the early days of Tractor Time with Tim. Um, and I think that Dad may need some help. With these questions so okay. so if you know the answer send them in the chat 
see if you can help dad, but like don't help him too much because we don't want to make him look like smarter. This will be the really old times back when you were like back when I was the here. centerpiece of the channel. Centerpiece. Okay. Yeah. okay. What do we got? So the first question is, can you name two businesses that I have tried to start on Tractor Time with Tim videos or two business ideas that I've had? Proposed ideas. Proposed ideas. I can name one. So so let me think of some videos that might have this in it. Um, Somebody there is, says Lemonade Stand. Lemonade Stand? That's... The lemonade Stand? Did I try a Lemonade Stand? I don't know. Maybe. Um, there was a video where we were using the mulching kit for the 54D deck mm -hmm. in the backyard that you proposed one. So that would be a good one to look at. Roger Johnson says selling tires because <laughs> he's a tire guy. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Roger. <laughs> I don't think I've done that. But... A catapult. You did oh, propose something about did. a catapult. Yes, definitely did. We talked about catapulting supplies. Reason? Well, maybe that was last year we talked about it. We yeah. talked about catapulting supplies sometime. Catapulting supplies tried to deliver um, a, what, 12-year late product for Christmas? Yeah, I think we talked about this in a video not long ago, didn't we? Yeah, maybe. and, um, well, let's just say that... I think the product has been complained about and returned. Steel-toed flip-flops? Yeah. Steel-toed flip-flops? That's a brilliant That's idea. That's a brilliant idea. The problem is the toe part. Like, <laughs> the whole point of a flip-flop is to have your toes kind of out there. <laughs> Somebody says cat. cat. Snow removal. <laughs> the Snow business removal. idea is just cat. <laughs> Jeff Stewart, gluten-free chocolate cake. Absolutely. Yes. That's, that is one. That's definitely one of them. That was yes. what I was thinking of. I've definitely tried to start many a gluten-free bakery. <laughs> your air conditioned shirt. Now, yes. I don't remember whether we actually talked about this on camera. Your space. Oh yes. Yeah. So I don't. Yeah, I don't know about if I've talked about this. This is her. This either. is her most passionate business idea. I have the perfect idea. If you want to send me seed money, please do. My father will not invest. So here's the idea. In the winter, we all have this problem where. Anything that is not covered by our coat is freezing. So it's a little better this year because you have to wear a mask most of the time. Honestly, it kind of helps with like cold wind and everything, you know, not really getting on your face. But you still have like your eyes and your hands and your legs and everything. What if we took the idea of a spacesuit from the Apollo missions and turned it into a coat? that everyone could wear. It would be warm. You could have heated, like water. Do they use heated water running through it? And you could also, if, in the summer, if you still needed like a full body protective suit, it could be cold. You know, you my favorite idea stylish. is, you know, my favorite part of this idea What is that when I got tired of talking to you, I could just grab the this front the visor, visor and, just and just fold it, it down. down. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Chatton says space suit winter coats. Space got. suit winter coats, Elizabeth. That's your roommate. That that doesn't count. Love you, Elizabeth. Hey, <laughs> I don't think there's anything crawling on the wall behind us because I've looked. So, no, I don't know what you're seeing crawling on the wall behind us. Is I there? Can't. Is what? Is it on my? Where is the thing crawling on my wall? Is it behind Katrina? Behind me? I tried to move so behind something Dad? to make it. Better. On the wall behind you, I, oh, I like the I like the TTWT sign. Hey, someone asked about would we ever consider buying an older 855 tractor or 430 or something? Well, I tell you, after seeing that 855, that would be pretty exciting. I actually looked around for some a little bit. There's some really nice ones available, but I don't know. You know, who knows? That'd there, be a lot of fun. Somebody asked, uh, do you think a 44100 would run a run the offset flail? 4,400. 4,100. 4,100. 4,100 is the subcompact size, I believe, or just maybe slightly above it. it the 1025R can run it, but it it's it kind of, the tail wags the dog, as my brother <laughs> There's would a say. crawling right. monster beside hey, you. Hey, Neil. I think I have a crawling monster beside me. Where is this crawling monster? It's 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 right to right here. It's kind of, it's wearing a red shirt. Oh, is it gone now? <laughs> it's gone. It's gone, right? Hey, Neil, when are you going to come down and help me cut up this big four-foot diameter tree that I've got in my, my woods that's falling down? I need need some help there. Hey, Dirk Perfect's here. Mr. Perfect. 
appreciate you joining us for our very first ever live stream. I should have asked you how to do these. Yeah. It took us a while <laughs> to figure it out. How's the B wise dump trailer? I love the B wise dump trailer. We don't use the dump trailer near all the time. Now it's easier to, to tie down equipment on the big flatbed that we've got. So we probably use it more than I, you know, you're trying to steal on my limelight. You're getting right. Put me in the shadow. Story of your life. I've always been in your shadow, but yeah, we, the B wise trailer is great. It's still working. It's, it's still working fabulous. And it's, it's awesome. Did you fix that hole in the barn? Um, we have not fixed it yet. I was afraid we, we, we got some, some stuff from shelter logic, uh, sticky vinyl like stuff to put on it. I was afraid I shouldn't do it when it was so cold. I was afraid it wouldn't stick to it. I, I, I don't know. It might be fine, but yeah, we haven't, uh, we haven't fixed it yet, but we do have the, the parts to do it. Somebody says, uh, the Kelly's country life says they just got a new steel and they'll help cut up the tree. Ooh, yes. It better be a big one. It's a, yeah. it's a, it's, I think someone measured 42 inches or bigger at the at six foot up from the from the base of it. Um, Katrill, you're supposed to drop out of college and join the TTWT marketing department. I'm already a part of the TTWT marketing department, even though I'm in college. Yeah, you're on a consulting basis at yeah. that point. Hayden so, says he loves the picture in the back. I don't know if everybody's seen hey. that picture. This is uh, something that's really special to us, guys. Um, uh, I'm stepping back out of the scene a little bit here, but if, if, if we showed it in one of our videos. But uh, we had a viewer, Samantha. Oh, I can't think of her last name. It's written there. Oh, Samantha Wilson. Um, we had a viewer that, that uh, I believe his name may have been Greg, that watched us, and he had his wife paint this mm -hmm. for us. Uh, this was the last project, uh, essentially the last day that I saw my dad. And we, we were able to publish the, the project, and it touched them as much as it did me, I think. And so they did this painting of the thumbnail on that video. And, uh, it's, so it's powerful. So we decided to hang it up here on our wall behind us. Um, Jill says, great picture. I miss seeing your dad in the videos. And yeah. we miss him being there, too. We do too. It's, it's, it's pretty tough, but we're thankful to have those videos with dad. And he was so supportive of us doing the videos and, and uh, some of those later videos, he didn't feel like being out at all. Um, but he, he wanted to be out there because I wanted to be out there. And that, that, that really was special to us. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring you down, but it is emotional to me. Why did, just curious, did John Deere not recognize the free advertising you gave or why would you have to change your colors? Hey, this was a topic I wanted to talk about tonight, so I'm glad you actually brought that one up. Um, we, we didn't have any issue with John Deere. Um, uh, what happened, the, the actual thing that happened had nothing to do with, with John Deere being dissatisfied with us. And I can't really go into what prompted all of this. Uh, I just don't feel comfortable with that. However, the issue was unrelated to our logo at all. It was just that once the legal team got involved, they saw the logo patent and or copyright infringement, whatever it's called. And once they see it, they're forced to, to act on it, right? Because then they would say that it, they would have willfully ignored it. And so they couldn't do it. So, um, John Deere overall is not dissatisfied with us at all. They were quite apologetic when they came to us about that. We have a wonderful relationship with John Deere. And uh, in fact, our dealer reached out to us uh, at the same time and said, look, we had to change our logo, <laughs> our local dealer's logo for the same reason. So I think, you know, that's, that's, pretty, that's pretty difficult when a dealer <laughs> has to actually change their logo. So uh, we didn't take offense at that. We don't want you guys taking offense at that. Uh, it's just, just the way it is. Gotta get my roommates to unsubscribe from Tracking yeah. Channel 10. Who's Chloe's on there? Yeah, yeah. Chloe's on. Hi, Chloe. <laughs> so anyway, we're 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 still doing great with John Deere, and we really we really appreciate them. And and they have not. We don't get paid by John Deere, uh, but they do help us with some of this equipment. We we I think we go into a little bit more detail on this on our website tractortimewithtim.com, um, but that's kind of a rental agreement, and it's subsidized the. Uh, our local dealer, AHW, takes care of some of the rent to make it so that we can have 
the larger two tractors. The, the 1025R is ours. The larger two is a kind of a, it's a goofy arrangement, but they make it possible for it to be on the channel. We try not to hide that, but on the other hand, we don't, we don't really focus on it a lot either, but they have been very helpful to us and, and we're thankful for that. What is your favorite mower for mowing tall grass? Tyler would like to know. Favorite mower for mowing tall grass? Big scissors. Oh, I know what your answer is. I, I've, I've, there's nothing in compares to the TS-10. I love, love the TS-10. The I just can't believe that the 2038R can actually pull the TS-10 and do a decent job of it. Yeah, it pulls it hard, but it does a decent I just can't believe okay, it. Okay, but what about if you don't have a two series, if you have a smaller Only tractor? a one series. Um, I probably, I don't really care much for a four foot uh, bush hog, brush hog, whatever. Like it's just too small. Or... The flail, the flail, I think when I'm get down there, cause I could pull a little wider one and it didn't pull the tractor around backwards. Hey, Justin, thank you. Uh, thank, thanks for the uh, super chat. And well, again, deer has been great to us. It, it says, hopefully they paid you. You're probably John Deere's best salesman. Uh, I know that, I know that we've moved or helped move a lot of John Deere tractors and, and they, I think they recognize it and, Again, we appreciate what the partnership that we have, even though it is loose and it's not, uh, you know, it's not incredibly lucrative to us. I mean, all we get is the use of the tractors, but that's okay. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's, it's been great. Oh, I should say, I mean, we got a little more, we got like, they, they, uh, traded our loader, although we ended up buying the non self leveling back. Um, so some items like that kind of, you know, they, they help us with. Somebody had asked, which do you like now the self leveling loader or the, the regular loader, not self-leveling. Yeah, you know, I don't, I don't, I, I probably shouldn't say, but truth be told, on the one series, I'd go with the non-self-leveling loader. And the reason is because the, uh, there's no additional lift capacity for the self-leveling and it, it doesn't fold the bucket as far as back, uh, as far back. And I just don't see an advantage. Now, when you get up to the two, uh, the 220R for the 2038 R, I'd probably go with the self-leveling because there's a significant capacity increase. What's next, Christy? You got um, more? Somebody said uh, Metal Green Farm says Ventrac pulled out of their local dealer, but there's another. Um, yeah, so uh, uh, Ventrac was purchased by Toro. Yes. Okay. And Toro and John Deere do not have a very positive friendship at all. So, uh, I think both of uh, both John Deere and Toro were opposed to keeping Ventrac in the local John Deere dealers. So Ventrac is no longer in any John Deere dealer and they used to be in a lot of John Deere dealers. Um, and those John Deere dealers have gone to Steiner and that's an interesting history. Maybe we'll talk about it in another episode sometime, but anyway, Steiner, uh, mowers, they'll can or Steiner tractors will connect to the same attachments. Um, a lot of similarities. We'll get into that history some other time, but, uh, um, yeah, you won't see Ventrac dealers being in John Deere dealers anymore. Uh, so it's happened in a local dealer up here as well. Jake asks, what is your favorite dirt moving attachments for your subcompact? Dirt moving attachments. Dirt moving attachments. Well, we have the land plane. You have a power rake. You have. Let's start even cheaper. Box blade. The tooth bar. Oh, on your bucket, yeah. Yeah, just the tooth bar on the bucket is a is a great dirt moving attachment right there, and and with a little bit of practice and and some unique handling of it, you can make it do a lot of things. Um, I like the I like the land plane. Uh, I as you guys know, I'm not really a box blade fan, but don't hold it against me. I know a lot of people love them, and I'm not opposed to that at all. It's just that I'm not very good at it. I probably just need more practice. Uh, Collins Lawn Maintenance wants to know, do we have our pond the way we want it? No. No, we don't. We're, it's just, it's hard for us to get to all the different projects. And, you know, we kind of like to mix it up a little bit so that you guys see a little bit of everything. What implements am I moving? Come on, Kurt. You just have to stick around. We'll eventually get there. <laughs> <laughs> He's asked two or three times. <laughs> Are you ready for another trivia question? He keeps asking. Yeah, we need another trivia question. All right, so <laughs> box blade all the way. <laughs> Most of you remember, as as we've already mentioned, that um, 
I used to wear flip flops just an obnoxious amount on the channel. Used to? That's just when you used to be on the channel. Right, right. I don't now because I'm not on the channel. You still wear flip flops. Yes, absolutely. Best shoe ever. There is a temperature at which I declare it too low to wear flip flops. In Fahrenheit, what is that temperature? How would they know that? Didn't I mention it? I'm pretty sure I mentioned it. I think it. you may have mentioned that in a recent video. Oh, well, I'm pretty sure I've mentioned. Uh, we've got 20, 45, 37, 0, 40, <laughs> 50, 45, 32. Oh my gosh, I They're can't trying. Uh, we've got some really good guesses. Yes, we do. But I think. I think I'd like one the thirty-one point right, nine eight four five six. That's, that's yeah. Good. We do have some. We do have some good guesses. Some great. accurate guesses. Thirty-one point nine eight four five six. I already said yeah. That one's great. Hi, Weston. He's a big fan. <laughs> Kurt um, White's just putting in every number. Yeah, he's just guessing a whole bunch of different. Okay, snow is fair. Snow is fair. I'll give you that. I would not wear them if there was ever snow. I think it's forty-five. Well, the official temperature is forty. 40. Oh, okay, if you 45. guess 40, you were right. If you guess 40, you're correct. Elizabeth, Elizabeth, your roommate says minus 17. <laughs> yeah, I know. And Chloe said 37. So <laughs> I, I don't know what you're doing over there. Grandpa's form says, yeah, I won. <laughs> <laughs> Does the 5 Series have a turbo? Yes, the 5 Series has a turbo. And somebody asked how it's doing. It, it It's doing fine. Um, I don't use it a lot. So Somebody um, asked Fahrenheit or Celsius. If I was not wearing flip flops below forty Celsius, I'd never be wearing flip flops. Yeah. Hey, updates on the stolen tractor. Um, we don't. Well, I guess we do have an update. Um, our lawyer quit, and he didn't just quit us. He, he quit lawyering. He quit lawyering. Uh, he actually went to work for an insurance company, and so we no longer have a lawyer so if you're if, if, if you're licensed in illinois and you want to take up our case we would love to have you uh take it up uh, we're we're at the point of settling it's just that we need a lawyer to help us get it settled and we do not have one at present somebody ryan says god is good all the time yeah uh, tyler we did not get much snow we have a very small covering right now yeah, um, my favorite episode is eating fries at McDonald's. We we that's one of my favorites too. Hey, another favorite I put in the early part of this chat was uh, Christy driving around the the early shelter logic when we moved it. We had a, a big lap out of that one this evening when we re we rewatched it. Um, Somebody asked if we're selling the Ventrac Power Rake. No, no, not at present. Remember, Vinny is my favorite. Maybe someday though. Well, let's let's have some guesses. What what do you think we're, we're we're selling? Actually, three attachments this evening, and they're attachments that have been shown on this channel. Okay, so what are they? Can you can you like like I don't have any idea. Can you give us a what about the leaf pusher is uh, has already been given away. We're just waiting for him yeah. to come pick it up. Rich, French rich, fries. I rich wish. Pacone is coming to get the leaf pusher, pusher. I believe we've got a scheduled date. Sometime in February. Uh, uh, or March or something. But uh, yeah. Stump grinder, rear blade, TS-10. We can't sell that. Oh, no. Box blade, flail mower, non-self-leveling load. Box blade. Yeah, we can. Ha you can have every box blade on the Power place. Rate. No, I don't. I'm kidding. I'm Everybody's not. thinking the box blade. Or the stump grinder. Forks. TKV20. I love the TKV20. Absolutely. Not getting rid of it. They're outside. guessing that because we did sell one of those once. Oh, that's true. We did. A grapple. A render bit will do. Selling Martha? Martha? Are you oh, kidding? No, we can't sell the cat. Bullseye, bullseye on the bullseye. other hand. Bullseye, well, yeah. <laughs> no, we, bullseye goes to the highest bidder. He's no, not we married. like Bullseye. <laughs> bullseye, if you're watching this, we love you. Landscape break. <laughs> Hey, Bullseye's Bullseye is turning into an M now. It's, it's like he's trying to earn your, your Yeah, life. with our last name, Mark. See, the Bullseye is actually converting itself into an M as he gets bigger. So that's pretty uh, pretty good. Somebody says the flail mower will take it. We're not selling Catrille. Although if you want to like, you know. Yeah, she's getting more expensive. She's in grad school. I'm going to just send you money and pay for <laughs> grad school. That'd be great. <laughs> no Solo pulverizer. So the items up for sale. Tree shear, 
for we have 752 words. people on right now. As soon as I announce the items for sale, we'll see everybody drop off probably. Um, <laughs> Chris, you're, no, they're not selling me. The item up for sale is, in fact, they're dropping off even before that. Uh, we have two grapples from Precision, Precision Manufacturing. Um, one of them is the double clamp that you've seen used on this channel all the time. Um, and another one is a single clamp, a full width single clamp grapple that I've never shown on the channel. I was going to do the comparisons, but I like the double clamp so well, I just never showed the single clamp. Let me get the prices here. So for the double grapple, it's $18.95, and the normal price is $24.95. For the single grapple, it will be uh, $16.95, and it's, again, brand new, never been used. And if you want any of these, you need to go to, in, or you need to email info at precisionmfg.com. Info, here I'll type that. Yeah. Somebody info. wanted to know, will it ship to Canada? Hey, I don't know. No shipping at all on this. Oh, we have to come get it. We have to come Kurt, get it the two clamp won't fit you. It's a John Deere quick attach. Unless you're getting a John Deere, I think maybe that'd be a good idea, Kurt White. If you want to get a John Deere, that would be uh, fabulous. <laughs> My name is Melton McGee Jr., and I am a lawyer. Can you support me in Illinois, Melton? If you can, we're are, we are excited about that. <laughs> yeah. Um, so the two grapples, $18.95 and $16.95, they're both John Deere quick attach JDQA, and info at precisionmfg.com. The other item is the mini clip, okay? The regular price on the mini clip, I, don't have, I probably won't have that. We did a couple of videos with the mini clip. It's able to basically cut down a seven inch diameter tree yeah let's see oh is it like the lobster claw it's the lobster, the lobster claw. claw that's oh, exactly yeah. what it is yeah. yes uh, let me see if i can find it yes joe the mini clip is a sweet unit yeah and it it just snaps those trees right off well the i think the i think the retail price on that thing is six thousand dollars and I don't have it right here in front of me. I apologize on the, on the mini clip. But this one has chopped off however many trees you've seen it chop on the video, and it's $39.95 if you order by midnight tonight. Now, $39.95, info at precisionmfg.com. So it's quite a bargain. I've the, the lobster claw portion itself, I had to let it sit outside, right? So the actual cut, the, the, the knife portion of it, I put a real heavy layer of grease on so it wouldn't rust. Yeah, and, it's uh, not outside now. It's but... inside now, but it's, uh, yeah. it's, it's, it's been great. So, so yeah, if you, if you want any of those, the way I would say it is uh, the first email uh, wanting it that gets to info at precisionmfg.com will be the winner. We'll not make an auction of it. It'll just be the first email that goes at those prices. So $39.95 on the mini clip. I did grease it. That's exactly right. I greased the mini clip cutting edge. I did not grease it. I you greased, greased it. it. Grease is what you put on the... the grease stuff. is a noun. Grease is a noun. Grease is a verb. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Um... Is the 1025R better than the 700 series with a 62-inch deck for mowing? I would love to be able to answer that question in a video. We need to find somebody with a 700 series and, and get them over here, and we could do some side-by-side -side testing. Yes. In general, uh, the consensus is that a 700 series is better for mowing than a 1025R. I can't say that from personal opinion. Hello from Collinsville, Alabama. The crappy capital of the world. Cool. 
Greasing is for losers. Greasing is for real tractor owners. There you go. Lubed it up. Yep, lubed it up. <laughs> Somebody wants us to do a tractor giveaway. Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, what, what tractor do you have? I'm happy to give it away. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and not somebody else's tractor. Have I used a John Deere 4720? I have not, although we have used a 4066R, which would be the follow-on to it. Um, Kubota guy, I really enjoy all your channel. Yep. I have learned a lot. Thank you. Hey, thank you for joining us. Um, yeah, we, we appreciate it. Let's see. Did I have what's it? How about another? Uh, uh, Roger says, Katrill, I very much appreciated your paper on, on GMO, GMO commodities. commodities. Well thought out and reasoned. Did yeah. I write a paper on GMO commodities? Well, you wrote a, uh, a an yes. article on tractortimewithtim.com. Yeah. Oh. It was a long time ago. Yeah. But Roger's been a long time fan. We we do appreciate your your support, Roger. Yeah. Um, Blake asks, what's your opinion on Mahindra? Um, you know, Mahindra doesn't make their own tractors here in the U.S. They use TYM tractors. Let's catch Justin in a minute, okay? Okay. Um, so, so I'm I'm not really ever a fan of a of of a manufacturer who isn't really a manufacturer. Um, I prefer the folks who make their own tractors. So, and I think for the small tractors, it's the TYM that they actually use, just like RK. Okay, Justin Sykes, thank you for the super chat, Justin. What other channels do we watch and enjoy? Uh, several highly subscribed channels not only mention TDWT, they speak very, very highly of your opinion. I, I, I appreciate that. I maybe, maybe we should know that. It, maybe some folks are giving us shout outs that we don't know about. Um, what other channels do we watch? We don't honestly watch as much YouTube as you might think. Um, but we do uh, communicate a lot with all of the compact tractor YouTube channels. I would say close to all of them. Um, a Ritter bit will do. A Ritter bit will do is on with us tonight. Um, you know, and we talked to we talked to several others uh, like that. Um, we've Dirt got Perfect. Dirt Perfect, of course. Uh, watched him tear down a two story house this week. I was thinking maybe Johnny and a little backhoe could do that. Um, we've got a, a collab coming up. Maybe more more than one collab coming up here. I think that's what we're going to do here in the winter. Do a little bit more collaboration uh, with some with some other channels. You may see some other uh, colors on this channel too. Um, it's you know we feel like with with no farm shows this year, we need to to be able to provide some content that's maybe informational on some other brands. Um, I mean, you guys know we like the John Deere stuff, but we aren't we aren't overly hung up on that, right? To the point of we're happy to show some other brands on the channel. Somebody says coyote question mark. Yeah, we've had a lot of questions. Hey, oh, it's the same. I think it's the same guy. B Rad Wilson, Brad Wilson. Um, um, I'm, I, I, we recent, in fact, you are going to see a coyote uh, on our channel Friday morning, uh, 7 a.m. So come back and tune in. And it will be a coyote that you have not seen before, unless you're a coyote dealer. So uh, that's that's something to look forward to. I hope you guys are excited about that. Um, so um, I'll get back to the Oliver two-cylinder question, dear two-cylinder question. Okay. Uh, but uh, yeah, so so we actually got to go to Coyote uh, and and participate, or actually be a spokesperson for their dealer meeting in December. And so we got to be introduced to some of their new equipment. And you're going to see that this coming Friday. Um, and the cool part was is that it was far enough south we were able to actually use the equipment uh, in, in the field. And, and so, yeah, it was, uh, it was a lot of fun. And we really appreciate the folks at Coyote uh, inviting us down. Um, they overlooked our, our green tent and uh, had us down anyway, and we really appreciate that. Why do we not have two-cylinder uh, – passion here. I just, I just never have had it for those old deers. My family never ran them. My family ran uh, Alice Chalmers until Oliver came out with a, an independent PTO. And as soon as Oliver came out with an independent PTO, they switched to Oliver and they stayed on Oliver essentially until um, White ran Oliver out of business. And then uh, we spent several years with international harvester tractors uh, and, and eventually uh, switched over to John Deere. That's a little bit of my history. 
What else we got, Christy? I mean, there's so many coming through here. I yeah. can't keep up. Have you ever tried a log splitter attachment on a, the 2038R? I have not um, tried a log splitter. I, I probably could, but the, the flow would be bad. Um, so it, it, it's not going to function very well. I'd probably recommend just getting a little standalone log splitter. Um, it's not the color of the tractor. That's right. Do I like RK tractors? Well, again, RK is the same story. They don't make their own tractor. They, they use TYM tractors. So we, you know, that's, that's one of those. We, we've talked about some of the rules that we, uh, like what time is it? 839. Somebody asked, how long are we streaming for? Um, so we get bored. How long do you want it to be? Are you guys bored now? We can stop right now if you want to. I saw some questions about whether I graduated Purdue and how school is. Okay, go ahead. Um, I graduated Purdue in May, and I went to Italy for grad school, and I studied international development and economics at the Johns Hopkins School of Advanced International Studies. And... Uh, yeah, I hope to have a job one day. If you have a job that you think I should take, send it my way. I'll send you a fancy resume. That's about <laughs> it for me. <laughs> Kurt White says we still have 700 folks after after we've announced the items that are moving. So I guess it's still interesting. I guess uh, people haven't given up on us yet. Let's hear from Katrina. There you go. What sort of job do you wish to have? Um, well, I'm really interested in infrastructure development and, like, uh, as far as like agriculture goes in the developing world, um, it's great to like be able to give farmers seeds or like have them buy it. But it's another thing for farmers to be able to sell things on markets, which they can get a lot higher price for. And also um, just they don't have to store their crops, um, which then can go bad and then they can lose a lot of the value of the crops that they've grown. So I would really like to work in like I don't know. I don't like maybe a private company, maybe something like the World Bank or International Monetary Fund that helps um, make investments in roads and trains and other kind of infrastructure to kind of help uh, agricultural development in the developing world. Yeah. Hey, what kind of printer is that behind us? It's a brother. It's a brother color laser. I'm so sick of the uh, inkjet printers. If we don't print a whole lot and we would find that inkjet printer, you know, we, next time we want to print, it doesn't print. And we finally just bought a laser printer. I think it was like $500 color laser printer. We don't print photos here. So it does a great job of printing. Um, and it's always there. Matt says, I have an RK24. I can attest to good build quality, but horrible service. If you're okay with that up front, they are continue. Yeah, Matt, I appreciate it. You've, you've had an RK24 for years. It, uh, when I believe when, Mike Morgan still had his. I remember uh, you, you commenting that, that you had one. Thank you. Uh, I do not know of a way to add horsepower uh, to a 3025E. I think uh, the best idea is to go ahead and trade up. But I don't know that you really will find a 303080 to be much more capable. I really think it, that a 2R or a 3R would be your better choice. Thanks to Christy for the great camera work and the editing of the videos, and she's a great tractor driver, too. Thank you. I appreciate that. Hey, Larry from Terra Place Christmas Tree Farm. Stay on as long as you like. Jenny and I are enjoying. Katrina, when are you going back to Europe? Well, I thought I was going back this weekend, but turns out... Um, Delta messed up your flight. Delta messed up my flight, so now I'm leaving next next Thursday. I don't know. I'm going to leave whenever the Delta app tells me to leave. <laughs> I, I have this thing where I like to keep my passport in my backpack at all times, just in case I need to flee the country. Yeah, in case we kick you out. Well, you know, you never know why you're going to need to flee the country. <laughs> um, let's see. There was a, an interesting quote. Any advice for small YouTubers doing uh, tractor content uh, like myself? Um, I don't know. I, I would say that, that we've had a lot of, uh, people follow us into what we're doing here and, and essentially model their channels after us. Uh, one thing I would say is that wh when I see the most successful channels, they don't necessarily model themselves after someone else. They do what works for them. Um, we didn't really, we didn't really set out to, to be like any other channel when we started. Now there wasn't very many. We just, 
we saw some things missing at the time. You know, it was a lot different world five years ago. There, there was very little uh, quality video of tractors in action. Well, Rich asked, did we start the, did we start a channel to become full time? And no. no, we we tell the story. I have I, I I tell a little bit on our on our website tractortimewithtim.com, but uh, I can tell a little bit here. Uh, we posted the videos. We did zero editing. We just posted the videos straight off the camera to YouTube because we were sending them to uh, our parents, Christy's parents and my parents. We used to make DVDs before we had the tractor, and, and I realized it was going to be a pain to make the DVDs. So the first probably 30 videos don't have any editing at all. It's just what came straight off the camera uh, from years of practice. Now, we always had a video camera in Catrille's face. Uh, from the time she was born, literally born. Yeah. Um, and so she was very comfortable with the question. What question did I ask, Catrill? Well, what do you think about that? What do you think, Catrill? What do you think, Catrill? And then what was your favorite part, Catrill? And uh, she got to where she could handle that interview really well. And so we were comfortable with the camera. We were also comfortable with trying to be a little bit concise with our discussion rather than being rambling on because we got tired of watching our own video. So that's kind of how we did it. Um, well, and also you were a software engineer and you worked on video. Yes, yes. I, I worked on uh, video at the time. Uh, uh, just after Katrina was born, I worked for RCA. So I actually worked on RCA brand TVs and some software associated with that. And then I kept in the closed circuit TV business for security systems for years. So I, I, I've always had a passion for video. And we, like, as far as advice for for YouTubers, we have these conversations all the time. We had the same conversation going to get a cheeseburger last week of what are our strengths now, now that I'm not here, now that you are, you know, yeah. full time, now that mom's full time, what, what, instead of trying to be like the next, I don't know. Whatever, Mark Grover. Yeah. Yeah. What, what, what do we have that is still, our comparative advantage or yeah you know, what what makes us, us what makes us us yeah and that changes over time you go back and watch our older videos we were we were different back then and i'm sure we lost some viewers in that transition but we couldn't help it you you know that's changed that that just happens over time uh, people were also getting tired of exactly the same type of videos back then that's just the way it works right yeah so you you know this be yourself be yourself Yeah, I did have crazy commentary yeah. back in the day. Yeah, we watched some of those. Uh, the, the old videos can be really funny. Uh, have you ever had any concerns or issues with your family? And it's going by so fast in the videos. I've had people question me putting my daughters in video. I'll answer this one from my perspective. I, like as a daughter in the video, I've gotten some really creepy Facebook messages I've gotten a lot of Instagram follower requests, but it's nothing that I couldn't handle. The difference is, is that you were 16 at the time and Neil's daughters are much younger. Yeah. Um, okay. So yeah. I, I could see that for Neil, it would be, it would be different. I, I am going to give a shout out. Uh, uh, let me make sure I get the name. It's Neil. Is it cook or cock? Neil, Neil cook, K O C H Coke. Coke. Neil, how do I pronounce it? Uh, Neil Cook, Dig Drive DIY. Uh, Neil's going to be a superstar. Uh, his videos are amazing um, and uh, informational, and he knows how to use a box blade. So uh, Neil Cook, Dig Drive DIY, I'd give him a big shout out here. Um, at some point, we're going to do a collab with him, and then he's going to be super popular. So go subscribe today so that you'll be able to say you're you, you got him before 20,000 because once we collab with him and people know about him, he's going to, yeah, he's going to be a superstar. Um, Meadow Green Farms has asked, do you have any problems with our Ventrac tires? They can't seem to keep airs in theirs. And have we? Yeah, it, it, the air likes to jump out of there once in a while. We've had one, one flat and it was a destroyed tire. Um, I destroyed the tire uh, working on a trail, 12 acre trail. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. where we were running uh, the tough cut in there and run a stop, stop in the tire. Uh, they're not, you know, I mean, that's, they're just kind of wimpy tires, but you know, for regular mowing and stuff, you don't have any problem. What happened to Casey? I've seen 
Somebody yeah. asked that over and over. Um, as we jokingly say, Casey went to a trade show and still hasn't found his way home. Um, I, I, I think that Case um, just doesn't put a lot of focus on the very small mini excavators. And so they, they decided that it, it wasn't worth it to them to then, I, I guess. It wasn't worth it to them, I, I guess. But uh, we have a so great relationship with the guy we're talking with that it just never has worked out for him to send another machine over. Julie says, would you like to have a compare contrast with a local Lebanon guy with an RK tractor? Yeah, we might want to, we might want to do an RK review. So uh, contact us via email, Julie. We'd love to, to sit down with you and eat dinner anyway. Cheeseburger. You're buying the cheeseburgers. Ah. <laughs> uh, I don't know. There's a Mexican place around here. I like, <laughs> Yeah, Kurt, see, you're in below 20K. So, Neil, you'll have to tell us how many subscribers you get after this. Maybe 738. Hopefully. Do you uh, like a pull-behind disc or a three-point disc? Uh, I like a pull-behind disc because it's heavier. Unfortunately, I can't find one smaller than about uh, almost nine feet. We have the, the Tough Line disc from Monroe Tough Line, and it's too big for a two-series, but... Uh, the problem with a three-point disc is it's not heavy enough. So I would like to see a, a six-foot, really heavily built disc that I could pull behind the 2038R. I think that would be a neat attachment. Somebody uh, asked what Neil's channel is again. Is it Dig, Drive, Dig? Yeah, it's Neil Cook, Dig, Drive, D-I-Y. Look back through the comment history and you'll see him. He was blushing when I was saying good things about him. Uh, <laughs> 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 what was the uh, UG about, Joey Schaffner? What did I what did I say wrong? Um, can you put bead locks on a John Deere tire? I don't I don't know. I don't know that if I would need to. I I've had the tire slide on the rim. I think bead locks is what keeps the tire from spinning on the rim. I'm not exactly sure, but if that's what it is, I just put a little more air in the tire, and I was able to stop that. What's your most useful attachment from Ryan Evans Outdoors? Most useful, uh, probably the grapple. Yeah, probably. Now, probably the grapple. Um, it's I know it costs a good bit of money, but but uh, the grapple is, is fabulous. Hey, if you missed out earlier, the we have the two precision grapples that we have here for sale, um, and the mini clip, and you can go back and watch earlier. King Cutter has six foot discs. I don't know that they have wheel discs that are six six foot pull type discs. Uh, the three point discs, like I say, are just they're just too light. Somebody's asking which is better, clamshell or artillion. I'm not sure. Well, at Purple Collar Life, I think, answers that. He says, we're amazed by what we can do with our artillion grapple and the little John Deere 2210. Now, that's a tiny tractor. Oh. Um, I, I look, the artillion grapple is amazing. I think I could probably hold more stuff in it. I think I can probably grab stuff a little better with the precision grapple, the clamshell. Um, so I'm I'm on the fence there, and since I work closely with closely with both of these companies, I'm I'm not really to ready to to make a, a statement either way. I I love them both. Somebody asked how are our strong waist sleeves holding up in the barn, and they're great. They are fabulous. Yeah. Strong waist sleeves. It's been a long time since I've even so much thought so about we those. Thought of, yeah, we haven't thought about them, but they're working great. Uh, let's see. There was another one here. Uh, the National Farm Machine Show right now is on for late March, early April. Right now. Um, I think it's on their website. What days they're there. Um, do you get attachments sent to you or do you have to pay for all your equipment? Most of our attachments are sponsored. Um, we, we, we try to make that uh, clear. Um, we usually say special thanks to the company for for providing this attachment or whatever. Uh, so that most of our attachments are, there, there's no way we could afford all of these attachments. And, and uh, you know, we, we, we do thank our sponsors for sending them to us. Hi, Mr. Love. Mr. Love's on? Yeah, yeah Mr. Love's on, hi. Uh, Mr. Love uh, is, he was, had the, what is it, a 5083? Yeah, tell no, us. No, it's a 5410. Uh, and it's got about 85 PTO horsepower, and it was working on the larger brush mulcher that we had So last summer. Hi, John C. Pepper.
I have another trivia question for you, Dad. Okay, okay. Um, away. So we had a garden that was actually a garden that grew like things like vegetables and things normal yeah. people eat. I know you don't, but other people do. Um, name three things that we have grown that are not corn or potatoes. Kale. Okay. We grew peas, but we never picked any of the peas. Hey, thanks, Brandon, for the super chat. Really appreciate. And then we grew zucchinis, and we grew green onions, and we grew radishes. See, you don't even remember. I just topped you, didn't I? No, I think I could. Okay, so we, we grew cucumbers, zucchini, eggplants, peppers, kale. We did have some carrots. Spinach, carrots, tomatoes, green onions. No tomatoes. Green, tomatoes were in Bob's yard. Yeah, right. Bob Neighbor always had. Bob had yeah. Yeah. We saw a video with Neighbor Bob today, and that almost made us cry. We watched yeah. one of the old videos. We really miss Neighbor Bob. Yeah. Um, do you think Deer will ever put a three-range transmission in the two-series to compete with the Code Boda B-series? That's interesting. I, I don't have any problem with my two-range transmission. I, I have plenty of, of low-end torque. So, I yeah, I mean, maybe they will someday. But one thing I notice is that low-range has more speed in the, in the large frame, two than it does in the 1025R. So I'm rarely – encouraged to go to high range in normal activity with the 2R. And I don't really need the lower range for most anything that we do. Did we grow carrots? We did. Yeah, we did. Yeah, they okay. weren't any good. They were spicy. Yeah. <laughs> spicy. Hello, Brad from Minnesota. Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota. Uh, who do picks the Bible verse? I pick the Bible verse most of the time. Yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for bringing yeah. that up. And we appreciate your your encouraging words on the on the the Bible, the Bible verse. And, and that's, that's great. Um, we try not to be overdone, um, with, with our faith, but on the other hand, I hope you guys see that it's there and we, we do believe in Jesus Christ and we believe he's the hope of the world. So, um, yeah, that's, that's where we stand on that. Uh, has the finance committee upgraded PC and video recording devices lately? Uh, we've done a lot of work on audio <laughs> equipment. Yeah. Um, we, we, when you say upgraded, one of the bad things is we are rough on equipment. Uh, the equipment gets in, in bad condition. On our video equi equipment, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I mean, we just, it, it, I hit the tripod the other day and knocked the camera over, and, you know, and then that destroys $3,000 worth of equipment before you know it. So, yeah, that's really tough. So we end up having a lot of. And I get down on the ground with it and get stirred in it wood chips all over it and everything yeah. so yeah it, it, we're, we're pretty rough on the equipment and that's just i guess part of it yeah um, um somebody wants to know will there be any more truck and trailer tuesdays i think we've got a couple topics uh cooking on that so yeah i hope to have hope to have some truck and trailer tuesdays it'd be nice if we kind of grouped them together but i don't know how many topics uh, i can come up with i like this one captain christie the drone pilot thank you <laughs> Christy's getting a lot better with the drone. She's, yeah. she's had some really good scenes in, in some recent videos. I enjoy flying it when there's not power lines around. <laughs> How's my mother doing? You know, you've, you've, you've really called it, Joe. Yeah. Uh, uh, she, she lost her lifelong partner. So she's doing pretty good, really. I think she's, she's upbeat about it. But, you know, I'm, I'm sure it's difficult for her uh, late at night when she's by herself. Yeah. So... How are we liking the single point? I love the single point. Yes. I just regret in the video that I put the wrong price in. They changed the price right after we released the video. So it's $634.70 instead of the 800 and something. Somebody asked what church we go to. We go to a church, uh, a Christian church. It's called Lebanon Christian Church here in Lebanon, Indiana. Yeah, here's some, yeah that's right. Now, a lot not, of our videos were from there last summer. Yeah, that's where we did the playground work. I, I need a new mic clip so that it won't go down my pant leg. Oh, yes. <laughs> that was funny. He's walking away from me, and I can hear him walking. <laughs> you know, I don't think a lot of people saw that. It was right at the end of the videos. We would encourage you to watch all the way to the end of the videos after the Bible verse. A lot of times we have some 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 pretty funny scenes. That's probably about top of the line on uh, the, the, yes. funny, the funny scenes we've had. Oftentimes I put little clips of the cats in too at the end if I have any yeah. cat clips. Yeah. Oh, how far do we live from the family? People just keep asking the same question. I yeah. they think maybe I'll finally get to it. Uh, it's about three and a half hours, three three hours, 15 minutes, a little less than 200 miles. Yeah, it's not bad. 
have you ever bent or broke forks on your tractor? He broke, Dale says he broke mine on the Kubota, but I was doing stuff I shouldn't have been doing. Uh, I have never bent or broke enough fork, and I have done everything I can possibly do to it. Um, that artillion fork frame, I'm convinced, yeah. is absolutely indestructible. And I've seen some of the, I've seen photos on Facebook and other online sites of some other frames that the, the little lip at the top or the bottom can be bent. Um, I, I just not seeing that. What variety corn will we be planting this year? It'll, it'll come from forthegrower.com and it is SV9010SA. I'll just type that in. We're going to do the same one. Well, that won the, that won the taste contest. It did win the taste uh, contest. Yes. All of our neighbors, we, we did a blind taste test and, and had them, we, we would, when we give sweet corn away, we would give them two different bags and ask them which, and you know, we, we would, I think we called them North and South and we would ask them to call us and tell us which one they liked best. Right. It was 100%. Here's uh, a good question. Ago. How did you get the first John Deere past the finance committee? Now, that's a tough one. I think that may be on our uh, website as well, but uh, yeah, we had no purpose for it. None whatsoever, but I really was tired of my job and I was highly stressed and I didn't see any way out of the job. And I, I finally said to Christy, I said, I, I want a tractor. She said, well, why you don't need a tractor? And I said, well, I just, I need some hobby or something to, to have a little stress relief. And she was real supportive. Uh, both of us having grown up on farms, she kind of understood that. And then we got the little tractor and, and you've actually seen most of that early usage of it. When we had that garden with the 25 foot long rows of corn. Uh, that was our very first episode, by the way, answer to a trivia question there. But uh, yeah, so. He actually took me to a John Deere dealership, though, and had me drive the 1025R. And when I realized I could turn it fairly short and go around the trees in our yard, I said yes. Turning radius is what sold her almost yes. immediately. Hydrostatic pedal and turning radius. She got on that thing and she realized she could turn it short enough to mow. And she was immediately sold. That's why that turning radius was one of the items in the BX versus 1025R uh, comparison. We really shocked at how much difference there was in the turning radius. Yes, we do miss our neighbors from Carmel. We see them from time to time. Um, are we going to buy the Bobcat loader after our demo period? No, it's probably going to go home this week. Um, we have one more episode to publish on it. We've already shot that episode. It'll be out next week sometime. Um, it's probably going to go back. Uh, it was never our intent to buy it. It was a, a three-month uh, deal from the beginning. We really appreciate Bobcat loaning us that. And I, I hope we, we've done some educational videos with it, provided them a service, as well as providing you guys some information that's helpful. We, I was really intrigued by how well one of those things would work, and, and I, I think we answered a lot of those questions, or I hope we have. Um, certainly with this last video, maybe it'll help even more. One last trivia question. Yeah. All right. So early in our YouTube history, when the thought of having sponsors was a complete joke, <laughs> I used to make up sponsors. Yep. Can you name two or more non-sponsor sponsors from our early days? I can. Um, and I think catapult supplies, catapult catapult things supplies. Supplies. may have been one of them. Um, the, uh, if you Menards. want a hint, Menards, of course. Yeah. We always would say Alan's sponsored by Menards and, and that would be the obvious one. So, so there's, if bury some dirt part one would be where two more sponsors came out. I think I remember perhaps hostess being a sponsor well maybe so but that not from that episode i yeah, don't but think it was hostess there, it was, was another cinnamon rolls it was another cinnamon roll company oh cinnabon was it i don't know we have to go back and check but the other one steel toed flip flops are <laughs> us. the other one was bluebird hello I'm oh Canada. yeah because they were my favorite bus company that's right and since you knew bluebird is the bus company and we had a bluebird bug spray Says. Bluebird, oh yeah, definitely uh, bug spray. I'm having trouble keeping focus here. Bluebird uh, sod, uh, cutter. sod yeah. cutter, yeah. So yeah, that was that was early on. Menards it. and bee spray in the clean up the garden. Yeah, you got attacked by bees once. Yeah. <laughs> that was fun. That guy had some bee spray, and he he took out those bees, buddy. 
but not until after I got stung right on the nose. Hi, Ronnie from Newport, Arkansas. God bless. I love my 2015 1025R. I got new the day after I watched my first TTWT video before Johnny was out of the tent in the backyard of your old house. That's awesome. That is cool, Alvy. I remember I remember your comments. I appreciate you that. Diet Pepsi. They should I, be I our do sponsor. think Diet Pepsi was a sponsor. I think yeah. we did say Diet Pepsi yeah. was a sponsor back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we used to have all kinds of made-up sponsors. I think Honda, I pulled the rope once on that blue bird. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> and I said Honda was our sponsor because that Honda engine started so good. Yeah. And then I think you argued with me saying that we could only have two sponsors per episode. Right, it? we had to spread them out. You know? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, Tim, if, I started to call you Tom. Is the JD3030 a good tractor for five acres versus a JD300X with a HF backhoe for the land clearing? I don't know what all that means, the HF part. A 3030. I'm not sure exactly what a 3030 is unless it's the old, um, the old JD 3030, a 300X. I'm not. I'm not sure, Sharon. I'm. I'm not sure I can help with that. This is the most engaged creator family on YouTube. Nobody else is so engaged with their audience. I appreciate that. Yeah. You know, you. that's you guys are what makes it fun for us, and uh, uh, I've, we've kind of been wanting to do live streams for a good while, but. Uh, have been a little nervous about it. I I don't know why, but uh, uh, I'm 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 glad glad we have done this. I think we'll do more of them. Um, do we still have the J. O. Harris planter? Yes. Yes, we do. And as far as I know, we'll probably keep it this year and and use it again this year. It works fabulous. Uh, there are a couple other vendors that make them, even here in Indiana. Um, it's possible we could get a different one from a different vendor this spring. I don't know, but we still have it. And it works fine. Do I still have the Ridgeline truck? Yep. We just yep. turned over 70,000 miles. Love the Ridgeline. On that truck. And it, it operates just like new. I know it's a she truck, but it works well. And I guess I'm willing to, to take the insults from people because it rides so comfortably and quiet. I just love it. We would probably trade it for a newer one if they would come out with a newer model. But so far, they what they've got yeah, is, a, is essentially time. identical to what we have. So. Many a good nap have been taken. Urbana Wood Project vaccine. wants to know if you tried the bigger swing arm stump grinder on the 1025R. No, I haven't. That's something we ought to try to do. I'm not sure that I can pick it up. Right. Uh, Catrille, what do you drive? I have a Prius. Don't the make old, fun of me. I love the Prius. This is the old, this is the old. You've got your own super chat, Christy. I did. Thank you. Katie Hill Farmer. That's awesome. Thanks for loving the channel. We appreciate it. Keeps us going. <laughs> Have we ever used a farm all? Well, I, I mean, I I drove farm alls as a kid. As oh, a kid. You, do you mean an old farm all or do you mean a new farm all? I don't know, but the old stuff I've driven as a kid a lot. Um, yeah, I I've driven everything from an M to a three fifty or. A, 350 and a 450 you yeah, know and uh, we had a cub when I was a kid that we mowed our yard with the old Catrill mobile it basically died we gave it yeah, away gave, it, gave away. it we gave it to a some sort of a charitable organization uh, we never did get any tax credit out of that but it doesn't matter we yeah, probably, we, any tax credit to it. we probably got all it was much. worth <laughs> yeah. can anybody see my comments weather God yes we can see them Updates on the geothermal. Um, it's working. Except in my room. My She's room's the, always cold. She's well, it, it would have been colder if we hadn't have spent that other $3,000. We put totally new ductwork in just to get that much. So. Well, it's not paying off. Get another blanket. <laughs> I'm going back to Italy. I think somebody watched the first video of Catrillo playing the piano. There is a few out there under, but it's not under Tractor Time with Tim, I don't think. Yeah, it is. It is. Oh, is it it? is. I just, I just, I started numbering them at one. I put some numbers on the first, I don't know, 65 or 70. And the ones with Catrillo playing the piano, they were on the channel from before then. And so, yeah, there's several with her. I decided to leave them out there. People are watching them uh, once in a while. So, hey, somebody wants TTWT blankets. We have not. Oh, well, that. Hey, well, I made one for 
for dad. Really? It doesn't. It doesn't say TTWT blanket. No, oh. it says I dig dirt. It's, it's yeah, John Deere though. I made this blanket for dad Whoa. way back in the day. It says I dig dirt. Work hard, play hard. I dig dirt. Hey, this will be my extra blanket that I. That you need. That I need, yeah. <laughs> uh, back when you bought the new red truck, my comment was a new man toy. <laughs> yeah. Um, what time is it in Australia? Yeah. What's the biggest tractor that I've driven? I've driven most of the ones on the farm down at granddad's house so oh the big ones yeah you've yeah. driven you've driven yeah. the big uh, case ih 9170 and you've driven the 8335r or yeah. 8335r i think is how you're supposed to say Get the numbers it. right um i would say those are the two biggest ones you've driven in is australia it's 109 p.m in the afternoon oh, wow okay um hey bull bull sailor i should get my my hat that Bull sent me. Thanks for uh, thanks for your comment there. Do I prefer clutch tractors or hydrostatic? For what we do, I prefer hydrostatic by a long shot. I definitely prefer hydrostatic. Yep. Um, for for any sort of PTO work or loader work, I would say hydrostat's a, a win by far. Time in Norway is three a.m. Ooh. I know. I think it's JCB, not JBC, mini backhoe or skid steer. But yeah, I think I would like to try one of those. Um, favorite Oliver tractor. Um, I, I learned to drive on a 1600. I plowed my first fields by myself with a 1600 with a four bottom plow. And, um, my family still has the 1950T. My cousin has the 1600. Um, but my, my brother has the 1950T. Those would be my two favorite. If I were going to buy one right now, I probably would buy a 1655. Um, Oliver, and the reason is because it's the biggest I could fit on my trailer and be able to haul it around. Uh, probably if I bought the one I wanted, it would be a 1755, but it's a little too big for me to haul. Hey, Justin, look at that. Another another super chat for you. Everybody loves you, Christy. The hero of TTWT. Thanks for your dedication to filming. Everyone should send. Thank you. Thanks. Much deserved. Yeah, I'm going to get offended here if everybody starts sending super chats to you. Dad, you're the, you're the pretty face of the channel. Yeah. You can't possibly get offended. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I want to say to Luke, who's been volunteering at the horse rescue, thanks for volunteering. It's yeah. uh, We love to volunteer for places that need the assistance. And it doesn't matter. He's got a Mahindra. No matter whatever you drive, as long as you can help out, that's a great thing to do. Uh, that's right. And we intend to do more um work for charity this season if we can find the appropriate charitable causes to work for. So if you know of a charitable organization that needs some outdoor work and it was within driving distance for us, uh, let us know. We, you know, we'll try to get something scheduled in. We, uh, because of, of YouTube now, we can afford to do charity work and, and so we're going to do that. That's just something that's uh, important to us. Yeah. Um, New Holland Boomer 40, uh, we are going to take a look at a New Holland Workmaster 25S in the near future. I have it on the trailer right now. It's a used one. It's not in very good shape, uh, but it's not a Boomer 40. It's not nearly that large of a tractor, so it won't be a good comparison to what, what you're looking at. TYM tractors, we're working on it. Uh, we'll yeah. see what we can come up with there, but who knows? We may look at an RK. Someone, Julie, I think, said earlier she had a, a, a chance maybe to – uh, so to have us hook up with that. So that would be a TYM as well. Lawn commanders asking about GIE. We haven't heard any plans for GIE. If there's no COVID and it's open, we will be there. That's right. What's our setup? We're using our regular video camera um, with a converter box so that we can have better quality camera. Um, and we have some lighting. I hope you can tell the lighting's pretty good. There's one thing that we notice when we've watched other people on live streams at times, they just don't have sufficient lighting. So leave your comments if you think this is uh, I think somebody wants to know what kind of camera. It's a Sony. Sony NX80 is what we use for the for our main filming. It's 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 far from a GoPro. Uh, it's got great quality, but it's uh, it's big, it's bulky, and we focus a lot on audio. So we have a big 
big audio device on here. I don't want to go into too much detail on that, but uh, we, yeah, it's too painful for a, it's too painful and too expensive for you to start with. I, I would yeah. say that don't focus on your camera when you're starting, focus on your content. Thank you, Archer's Lawn Service for the super chat. Yeah, thanks. And Jeff Hill. You're getting them before me, Christy. You comment on one before I ever see it. Thanks, Jeff Hill. Uh, do we still lose horsepower from hydrostatic from turning the pump up, or is it less? Now? I don't know. We need a burger budget. For, oh, boy, I don't know. That's, <laughs> a, that's a, Between the burgers and the Diet oh Pepsis, uh, that's, it, yeah, it, it takes a, a good lot. bit to keep me going. Yeah. Um, when are we going to be doing a brush removing video? Maybe. Well, we have it, uh, we're going to have to do some more on the tower project where we're where we're using that brush uh, mulcher some more back there. We've still got some more trees to do, so we 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 need to get on that pretty soon. I assume that's what you're talking about. I think so. What's the best way to keep attachments stored outdoors in good shape? Well, anything that's a wear, uh, you know, a wear component like I was talking on the mini clip. Make sure it's greased, greased. Um, but, uh, I don't think it's good necessarily to put a tarp right over an attachment. It'll condense under there and rust under there. That's not a, that's not a good plan. Hey, it's, it's nine fifteen. Oh, wow. Hello from Vermont. Hello from East Chicago. I think we're getting a whole nother crew of, of viewers now. Yeah. We probably need to be winding this down. Do I have a wood mill? No, I don't. What's the plan for the tower? We just got to get it finished cleaning yes. up, and we're, 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 we're doing our best to uh, stretch that out as long as we can, just so in case we get some different attachments or, or whatever. Hey, another super chat. I really appreciate it. Mini skid steer may be coming in the future. It's entirely possible. We'll see. Um, don't have anything firmly planned, but we've, we've had talks. Alaska. I'd love to go to Alaska. Yeah, not this time of year. Well, okay, maybe not. But Any last words, Catrille? Maybe next time we turn the lights down a little bit. I never got any comments on the lights. I even mentioned the lights, and I don't think we saw right, any Somebody comments. said that it, the lighting was good. Lighting good. Was nice. Well, I think this has been very fun, but next time we maybe should have some more um, audience involvement on, you know, maybe some trivia or something. I don't know. Tell us, tell us what you think would be fun. Yeah. Yeah. What would you guys like to know? Or like to see they've, a, they've answered they've asked a lot of questions yeah, we've been able have. to handle yeah. those and, and, and that's pretty cool um thank you Corey, for the super chat really appreciate it the lighting is good weather god thank you thank you next time um, in italy well italy. i don't have this whole like studio set up if you want to see my like really bad grad school apartment in italy then yeah you're welcome to it's just me and like uh, some pasta and that's it Next time, bring Randall. I appreciate that. We'll, we'll, yeah, we'll, we need to, we'll have to get him up here. <laughs> yeah. Cause I don't think they have hardly good enough internet to participate. So right. that's, that's too bad. Guys, I really appreciate it. We need to close down and uh, everybody's given their thank yous and, and I do appreciate it. We'll, we'll do this. I don't know how regularly we'll do it, but we'll try to do it more often than what we have, which is never. Um, but we appreciate your support. Um, again, thank you for watching our channel and, Look out Friday yes. morning for the new Coyote tractor that has not yet to be announced. 7 a.m. 7 a.m. Eastern Time. And we'll see you. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks. We'll Have a good night. We'll see you next time on Tractor, tractor time, time with, with Tim. Tim. Bye. Well, I haven't ended it. But now I have.